In this video, we see the cutest animals, the best views, and I stack it on the motorbike. It's got a bit of a whiff about it. What what plants do you think it is? The cheese berries. Cheese berries. This is a cheese berry plant. They have a bit of a whiff about them. They smell like cheese and berries. We can hear water off that way. Somewhere. I took the drone up, but I couldn't see it. So I'll go into the bush and try and find it. I was not expecting that. So we're still in the hunt for this water. Have some water. I reckon your mother will be able to do some fishing now. There's something in there. It's just under this plant. It's an echidna. It's an echidna, echidna names. I decided to get the motorbike off and go for a ride. So I got the motorbike off and I went for a ride up the road and I came across what they call Jacob's Ladder. A road that the best bends all the way up to the mountain, and they call it like a ladder. Top is um, 
up with a call of Watchtower Lookout, and oh my god, yes, spectacular. <laughs> I come up here on the motorbike as you saw just by myself left Nones down at the camp with her mum thought I'd go and check out the area that was the track I took to get up here crazy crazy but it's totally worth it. drive abandoned out in the bush I reckon I know what it is Mitsubishi Triton well, it's been here a while wow. you see this is one of the recalls on this model they get a bit hot, and then this happens. Hmm. Was it stolen? Was it just dumped? Was it off full driving and a freak accident happened? I hope no one got hurt. Now, yeah, back to the motorbike riding. Then after that I kept on riding along and I was keeping an eye on my phone that's mounted to the front of the bike there on the handles and I was just keeping an eye and make sure I'm on a track that would lead me back to the main road that would take me up to the campground and um, yeah I sort of come to the end of the day and I thought oh well I'll just start taking the tracks that sort of head that back that way um, I was going through this actual farming, uh, foresting farming area like where they uh, farm a lot of a lot of trees, a lot of pine trees for, for timber. Uh, I was following the tracks on the way back, but suddenly I was m my marker was going out into the into the foresting area and, and was just going off the map. And I thought, well, I'm following the track. Why why am I not, why is the marker on my phone going off the? And so I circled back around again, went down this big hill, and went circled back around again to to try and figure out where I was going wrong. I've done myself a mischief. <laughs> this road that I came down here, I'm following it on 
uh, my maps on my phone, which is a major road, and I kept on getting lost when I went up to there, except on there's no tracks showing. And I've just figured out that this track used to go through there. Looks like there used to be a bridge. So these maps that I'm following, hoping that I'll get my way back to camp. <coughs> uh, yeah, no. Nah. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to maybe follow the river down and just see how I go. There might be somewhere I can cross, then come back. I could show you on the maps what I'm talking about. So I've come from up here to camp is just here and I've gone down road and then I've gone into the bush and somehow I've gotten across all the the tracks here to this other road here which this other road moves into this plantation area and then I've come down to here and this is where I kept on getting lost and I figured out that this bridge is used to be here and this used to be the old road um so I'm gonna head downstream this way and see if I can find a way across. As soon as I get across, I'll try and come back up again. What an adventure. And it was a bit of a full drive track. You can see a lot of full drivers have been down there and gotten stuck in the mud and things like that. Follow the creek down and hopefully find another spot that goes across. I did eventually find another spot that went across. Went through the water and... Anyways, this is our campsite for the night. All set up. I've been here back from my ride that I got lost on. Dinner. Show us all the colours that are in there tonight. What happened that night during dinner? Oh, you saw something out the corner of your eye, and what did you shout? It's a Dalmatian possum. Come look. And what actually is it? Oh, that's it's a spotted croc. Yes, Dalmatian possum. We set up a trail cam last night because there's a little spotted quoll that's running around the campsite at night. Let's see if we caught it. It's hanging off the back of the motorbike oh. there. Looks like we caught him. And here's the videos. Got a few shots of quoll and also other possums. Brush tail. Brush tail possum. This bumblebee appreciates a good quality motorcycle. Mananda tells me it's to do with the the blue that reflects the UV light. It's got hunting for food for its nest. It has a little nest behind me. It could be the mum. What are they called names? Karawong. 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 Tasmanian? Native. Yeah. Native. We also have them in the mainland. Yesterday on the motorbike I went up uh, Jacob's Ladder up to the Watchtower Lookout and I don't think I should keep that to myself. I think I'd better take Winona and Carlene up for a look 
It's worth a look. Yes, I'm excited. Oh, it's well worth it. The rocks are amazing and the views are incredible. Can't wait. Let's go. What do you see? Wallaby. Thoughts on it, Moons? Pretty incredible. Mm -hmm.